the mystery of KV-64 in the Valley of the Kings is deepening. This one small tomb contained the remains of two people buried 500 years apart. But one burial had been violently desecrated by tomb robbers searching for treasure, while the other body was left untouched. What had happened here? The answers would provide a unique window into a tumultuous period in ancient Egypt's history. The Swiss archaeologists have established that KV-64 remained untouched and hidden for nearly 3,000 years. Whoever robbed the royal lady of the 18th dynasty did it during the time of the ancient Egyptians, before the burial of Nehemis Bastet. A closer look at this 500-year period between the two burials in KV-64 suggests the tomb was robbed at the end of the New Kingdom. It was the beginning of a new, violent phase of Egyptian history, a time called the Third Intermediate Period. By 1000 BCE, the wealth built up in the 18th dynasty had been spent. As the riches ran out, a power struggle ensued and a new group rose up to challenge the pharaoh. The priests, led by the high priest of Amun, the chief Egyptian deity. Eventually, the pharaohs had to leave their capital altogether and move to the city of Tanis, 360 miles to the north. The political situation in Egypt changed, the economic situation changed, there was a new regime uh, in Upper Egypt, in Luxor, which had definitely financial problems. Bekel suspects that the new rulers of this region came up with a novel solution to fill their empty treasure houses. In other words, the crime that desecrated the royal lady in KV-64 was most likely and shockingly officially sanctioned by the ruling priesthood. This was the same priesthood who in earlier times were charged with protecting royal tombs. Now, to pay their debts, they were raiding them. With the pharaoh's court now far away in the Nile Delta, the Valley of the Kings ceased to be a royal burial ground, and the rich tombs were systematically ransacked. The royal lady in KV-64 may have been a victim of this anarchy, her grave desecrated in the search for treasure. Scholars used to believe the Third Intermediate Period spelled the end of this royal cemetery. Now, the remarkable discoveries in KV-64 are telling a new story. The Valley of the Kings didn't die. Instead, it started a new chapter. When KV-64 was unearthed in 2011, it was the most complete example of the reuse of a tomb ever seen in the Valley of the Kings.